this morning. Rick, what are you doing? Oh, I forgot to shower this morning. Oh, you know what I forgot to do this morning? No! no! The hell! Gotta make a withdrawal. Let's go. <laughs> ah, dinner's on me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hi. My sports car needs some work, and my brother said you run an honest service station. All right, dry. What's wrong? Well, it needs a tune-up, I think, and the tires rotated, and maybe the brakes need checking. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like a simple snow job. <laughs> what? Snow job. I wipe the spark plugs with their egg, make them look new, hose down the tires, make them look rotated, and tighten the old brakes and charge you for new ones. I was told you were honest. I am. Most places do that and then lie about it. <laughs> I'm telling you I'm cheating you right to your face. That way, when your car breaks down, you're expecting it. I mean, we don't rip you off behind your back. <laughs> you do it in broad daylight. I couldn't live with myself if I did. <laughs> How much will it cost me? Uh, about twice what I estimate now, but you know for sure when you come back and see all the hidden charges. Now, you call us the phone before you do any expensive work. Uh, sure, then I'll forget. That's our policy. <laughs> Wonderful. So I can pick it up around five. No, you can stop by, but we'll offer you some lame excuses to why it isn't ready. So I'll pick it up in a week or two. Right, and then you drive off knowing you've been ripped off with confidence. And honesty. Hey, above all, honesty. <laughs> You need a hand, buddy? Oh, uh, uh, Here, let me get it for you. No, I... I'm developed. Oh. oh. <laughs> hey, this is heavy. What you got in here? Weights? No, it's clothes. Clothes. Someone's been swiping weights from the weight room. Oh, really? Yeah, really. They just take them. They're gone. I get mad. Uh, this is my room here. What kind of a pervert swipes weights? I don't know, a, a, a weightlifter, I suppose. Say, that's right. How come you know so much about it? Um, I don't know. D deductive reasoning, I guess. Oh, deductive reasoning. Mr. Smart, right? Well, let me tell you, I'm going down to the weight room right now, and if there's any weights missing, I'll deductive your reasoning. <laughs> Conan lives. <laughs> Millie, we're here. <laughs> here we go, honey. I've had some cheap ideas before, Joe, but saving money on hotel bills by spending our honeymoon at the Y. Millie, let me carry my new ride over the threshold. <laughs> the threshold? Well, it's sort of terrible. All my life, I... I dreamed of spending my honeymoon in a fancy hotel with, with room service. Oh, oh, I even had my hair done special. It's ruined. I even bought an expensive nightie. I wanted to be wearing something, something special. You still can, Pumpkin. We'll have fun. Come on, get dressed. All right. I'll <laughs> well, get changed in the washroom. I passed it on the way. Third door on your right. Can you in the washroom? What if somebody sees me in my pink nightie? 
Act masculine. <laughs> Come on, honey, put on your special honeymoon outfit because I have a special honeymoon surprise for you. Too. You do? Oh, oh, goody. Goody. I love surprises. <laughs> no, oh. hurry. Come on, pumpkin. <laughs> uh, no, no. <laughs> 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 What a gal. <laughs> right, domestic champagne. <laughs> Bad surprise. And then she calls me cheap. <laughs> Back so soon, pumpkin? What? Oh. I was just down in the weight room. Four 50 pound weights were swiped. They was my favorite. Weights? Now let's see what's in the trunk. No, I don't think really. <laughs> Aha! I can explain. What's that in my bed? That is the nicest honeymoon surprise I could hope for. Hey, how about you and Donna coming over for dinner tonight? I'd love to, but she's seeing her husband tonight. I don't know about these bank machines. I mean, I spend less time in the lineup, but. I just don't seem to be saving as much. <laughs> yes? Uh, a table, please. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I don't know if we have anything available. What's new? Well, sold the Volvo, got a Porsche. Great, we got two new mountain bikes. Oh, new furniture. Yes, we just had to. A compact disc player. Wow, the new model, that's what I need. Oh, <laughs> it's also a good investment. Ooh, gorgeous carpeting. Oh, wonderful pile. Hey, a new china pattern. Well, our wedding pattern was so passe. Baccarat crystal. From Ashley's, of course. Great, a microwave. It does everything. A pasta machine. How perfect. Oh, and we had a kid. Great. Well, <laughs> David. Lisa. <laughs> no. Richard. David. <laughs> Susan, Lisa, Mwah. Ciao. 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 <laughs> Funny sort of visit, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I feel sort of empty, like something was missing. I know. They didn't notice our convection oven. <laughs> hey, Lou. How come we gotta be all dressed up like this for the beach? I mean... I'm sweating more than my fat daddy teeth after a big meal. Right. If we strip down to swimwear, those babes will recognize us for the masters of the stud universe that we are. Now, go mad. They'll go mad? Wow. We better keep our male animal parts covered. <laughs> Thanks. She says, hey, take me now. Sex Bronco is more like it. Wow, you think she wanted me? Every square inch of her body surface has become a hypersensitive organ of immediate gratification. One touch and she'd be off like a leaky balloon. Wow. This place is a hotbed of sexual tension. If we remove these protective garments from our beefy bods, 
so saucy senoritas would no longer accept second best from those other men, and human procreation on the planet would grind to a halt. What a responsibility. Maybe we should get our taut haunches off this beach. That's probably safest. Let's go lie under the sprinkler in my yard. That way the babes will be less tempted to tie us up and ravish us. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Lou, not one of the babes is watching us leave. Of course not, Heine. Those frenzied fraulines couldn't take it. You mean, <laughs> if we'd stay a second longer, they'd go mad! <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Interesting. Here's an interesting fact from the animal kingdom. Although most cats do not like to swim, they are able to swim and can swim for up to 30 hours. After that, add carrots and potatoes and bring to a boil. <laughs> Look at all these furs. There's enough here to cover expenses. There's enough here to cover Orson Welles. <laughs> With all these fur coats hidden away, people will have to buy our plant flannel just to keep warm. We'll be relatively rich. And no one can stop us. <laughs> Unless it's... No, 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 no. Sister Yahoo Brad. No, 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 no. Is your new shoe dead? What the hell are you saying? <laughs> Mr. Canoe Head. Oh. Oh! Mr. Canoehead. Once a mild-mannered insurance salesman. Who one day, while portaging his aluminum canoe in Algonquin Park, was suddenly hit by a giant bolt of lightning. And had the canoe welded to his head. You're right. It's stuck to your head. <laughs> Mr. Canoehead. Canada's greatest aluminum crime fighter. Brother of Ted. That's me! Our story continues. By Pierre, we must have every fur in Canada. Not quite, boys. You forgot about me. Now return those furs or I'll pan your hide. <laughs> Giant beaver! Where's the gun? Let's shoot him! Shoot me? You'd shoot a beaver? The mighty symbol of this great country of Canada representing truth, justice, and orthodontistry, the noble beaver. He's right. Let's use a leg hole trap. Ah! Wait a second. I don't think he's a real beaver. Who are you really? No, 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 no. That's right. I'm. Herman lined underwear wholesale. Next episode, Mr. Canoe and meets the evil Ultramine. I suppose you're wondering why I called you all here today. You didn't call us here today. Give no. me a pot. Silence, don't interrupt. <laughs> now, in an effort to make each of us the best people we can possibly be, I have found a way for all of us to improve ourselves. Oh, really? Hey, how can you improve on perfection? <laughs> the key, of course, is to know your faults. And I do hope you take these in the spirit that they were intended. Rick. Rick tends to get hurt very easily. Well, that's true. Thanks, Dan. Just thanks. Oh, don't deny it, Rick. I do deny it. Rick always denies the truth. I don't always uh, deny well, the truth. What I deny is a bunch of spiteful garbage that some people seem to feel is their right to bring me. Rick tries to talk his way out of everything. Forget it. Yes, it's a right on day. Oh, well, thank you, Paul. There you go. How come this is typed so badly? And why is this on yellow paper? You know this is for copies, not originals. Paul is a nitpicker. Well, that's <laughs> totally, absolutely, unequivocally untrue. Next item, Paul. Paul always speaks in superlative. Well, that's totally unequivocally un... <laughs> oh, forget it. Peter! <laughs> You'll like these two pieces. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Says Peter always skins when he reaps. How do you reap? Read it again, Pete. 
Peter always skims when he reads. Oh, yeah, okay, fine. That's, that's okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you very much. There, there is an next item. There's another one. Yeah. Peter always agrees with people to shut them up. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. That's all. That's all you gave us? <laughs> yeah. Wait a sec. What about yours? Yeah, what about your list, Dan? It's right here. It's right here. I've taken upon myself to compile a comprehensive list of my own thoughts. Oh, good. All right. Right. Well, you were busy for I only have half months. an hour. <laughs> Dan is perhaps a little too tall. <laughs> Smart, but uh, that represents it. Yeah. What about your inability to take criticism? Yeah. You liar! You're a filthy liar! I tried to help you, and you just, you just turned on me. Oh, you went against me right from the beginning. People didn't believe me, but I proved it. With she and that's what I wanted, I proved it. But stop Oh, the strawberry fuck with the cheese. Take away everything we got. Tonight it's. Eyeglass Theater. There was once a rich socialite lady who threw many rich socialite parties. Oh, what a wonderful party. Simply everyone's here. Oh, it's Woody Allen. Oh, I'm so shy. And over there, it's Elton John. Hello. And the Lone Ranger. Hi, ho, Silver. Oh, isn't that yes, Jacques Cousteau? Glub, glub. Excuse me, ma'am, I hate to burst in like this. It's Chef Beauregard Morgenstern. Remember your daughter who was abducted by left-wing terrorists? Um, vaguely, vaguely. Well, uh, we killed her abductors. Would you like to see her back now? Sure, why not? Oh, my dear, come in, come in and have jewels and cash. I hate you and your capitalist lackeys, totally. You can kill her now. Right. Um, um, wait, all of a sudden I feel better. Did they brainwash me? And I think I'm cured. Yes, look, I am. Mommy, darling. Oh, wonderful. Let the party continue. And so the party continued on late into the night. Oh, look who's here. It's Ray Charles, Stevie Wonder, Roy Orbison, Ronnie Millsap, Lucy Feliciano, and Corey Hart. Oh, isn't it a beautiful night tonight, Quinnell? Oh, it's gorgeous. It's just the, the kind of night where you want to strip off all your clothes and fulfill my every desire, alphabetically. Oh, be serious, Gwinnell. I just want to talk tonight. Oh, I just want to talk. Oh, I've heard that one before. Come on. What kind of boy do you think I am? In fact, what kind of boy do you think I am? Small, medium, or... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Oh, this is a joke with you, Gwinnell. Well, that's not true, Mary. Rubber tubing isn't a joke with me. Not yet. All you ever do is insult me. No. Sometimes I insult your grubby parents. Huh? I can't take it any longer. Well, I can't make it any shorter. You're a child, Quinnell. Yes, but I'm our child. We must stay together for my sake. You've never said a serious word. Entropy. What? Not serious. I'm just trying to please. Oh, Mary. Mary, wait. I forgot to give you this. And the question is, paper snakes. <laughs> You're not laughing? Goodbye. No, Mary, wait, come on. I, I need your weight on these icy roads. Well, now, you make me sick. You're a pig. You have the slightest sense of human decency. You... You bought me a ring. Yeah. Oh, you really want to marry me. Oh, yeah, sure. I've got the shotgun all picked out. <laughs> No, let's have a big one. You know, they do housework. And everything. Oh, we'll grow old together. Sure, we can, we can oil each other's wrinkles. We'll be the happiest couple in the whole world. <laughs> Mind you, the world is racked with endless wars. We can settle down. Sure, like silt. Just you and me together forever. That sounds like a threat, Mary. Okay, I will raise you uh, 72. I'm out. Salem, Massachusetts, 1692. An entire community was exhibiting bizarre, irrational behavior. Was it really witchcraft, as they claimed, or was there some other explanation for this mass hysteria? Restrain the witch! Ye have been charged with lascivious behavior. 
of being in league with the devil and practicing witchcraft. How do you plead? Innocent! It was those two, Your Honor. They have drove me to it. They have drove me mad. She's right, Your Honor. We just have to look at a chick and they go mad. <laughs> I get around town in a brown car, it's brown. I like to get around because my car is brown. People always ask me how I get around town. I get around town in a brown car, it's brown, it's brown, it's brown, it's brown, it's brown. It's brown. I get around town in a brown car, it's brown. I like to get around because my car is brown. People always ask me how I get around town. I get around town in a brown car. It's brown. It's brown. It's brown. It's brown. It's brown. We get around town in a brown car. It's brown. We like to get around because our car is brown. Have you got all your equipment on? Yeah. Helmet? Yes. Shoulder pads? Yeah. Hip pads? Yeah. Chest protectors? Yeah. Shin pads? Yeah. Knee pads? Dock straps? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, stop 